Ladies and gentlemen across the galaxy, the madness ends today for Galactic Legends Ray. Great to see you yet again for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And today's going to be a very important one. If you've been watching my Grand Arena streams the past couple days, you would have noticed that Ray has been terrorizing Grand Arena. But today, I've stumbled across a counter that I need to bring to you guys to help you get close to 60 banners when you're taking on ray and it all comes down to the jedi rising up to the challenge yet again in star wars galaxy of heroes i have a big team right here to showcase this to you today but before we do so we got to give a quick shout out to where i found this from oddly enough it came from a random comment in my uh videos and it's like hey you got to check this out i checked it out i've been trying jedi with uh against ray for a while now and i haven't been able to get much to work but really it comes down to shock t and Watt Tambor really bringing us to the next level. Wiggins, uh, Bog, big shout out to them. Be sure to check them out. Link down below if you want to go watch their review on how to do this. But as you see, with Skywalker and the Jedi and Shakti and Watt Tambor, you're able to get work done. So I'll break down how this works in a moment here. Let's just kind of run into battle and just quickly showcase how this is going to work. Now, again, when you're watching videos out there, Everyone claims they have a counter, but you got to make sure you look at the mods. First off, we're going up against an ultimate ability race. So that's incredibly important because as you know, that takes Ray to a whole other level. And you also got to pay attention to Finn's mods because Finn basically uh, impossible to outrun because of Ray's leadership. This is going to be a 379 resistance hero Finn relic seven. And we've shown Darth Revan counter Ray, which is all fine and dandy. But now people are moving to pre taunters involving Wat Tambor and a tank and LT37 is an incredibly uh, popular choice lately because of being able to get the self cleanse going on as well as being able to taunt at the beginning and it's just it's a really crazy combo so this Jedi team seems to beat both pre-taunt and non-pre-taunt variants of Rain. that's what I want to bring up today so let's hop in the battle show you how this puppy works and then we'll kind of break down the strategy I'll kind of break it down as we're going along here but really as I told you guys, what you're gonna need Watt Tambor and offense for a lot of these counters, it seems like if you're gonna want to beat Ray, because his tech, this is gonna be incredibly important. Skywalker is gonna get turn meter. He's gonna be able to do more damage. So he's gonna be coming out here in a second. And here's something to keep in mind: Ray is programmed to kill General Skywalker first in this lineup. Every single time, always going after General Skywalker. So let's just go ahead, try to get some armor shred on L337. And they're gonna, you're kind of, I guess this is kind of nice knowing there's some consistency to all this. They're all, they're gonna go all in on Skywalker and luckily Savior saved the day for us. I'm just gonna do a basic for right now. Actually, let's do this. We're gonna call Shock T to assist. Shock T's in this lineup because she can dispel on her basic and grant offense up. We're getting around that damage, uh, critical damage immunity. And we should be able to take out L337 right here. Relic 7, L337 gone hermit yoda comes into the picture with his grandmaster's friend we've seen this so many times grandmaster yoda always coming and giving us extra accuracy defense offense potency and tenacity 50 percent to our fellow jedi general anakin skywalker and general skywalker is able to reduce max health when there's no well when they're under 100 percent health jedi knight revan is able to reduce max health and there's bonus protection and he's calling in skywalker to assist which will reduce max health even further so Ray should be crippled by the time we get there. Start spreading this tech to Jedi Revan as well as uh, 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 our girl Shakti over here. So that way you can survive when the ultimate ability comes in. So now we got bonus protection right there. So technically, if I use my basic, I can reduce her max health even further. What I'm going to do is just pass Terminator over to Skywalker so I can be ready for another mark in case we're going to need it in a moment. Now we're going to use our basics. Reduce the max health. It looks like we resist. They got the damage unity. Fine. In a moment, it should be ultimate ability time. We can't do much to her. She has no bonus protection. So we're just going to go ahead, pop a hit on Watt Tambor. Ultimate ability time. This is the time where we got to make sure we get ready to survive. I'm just going to kill off Watt Tambor right here. Stop spreading attack. Uh, almost there. We're going to get some force on the board so we can try to mitigate oncoming damage. Give this over the big shock. The one and only. And all right, they're going to get some protection up going. That's fine. All right, here we go. We can't do anything funny to Ray. She's got, we can't put armor shred on her. I'm just going to pop uh, a basic right here. Kill him off. All right, it should be about time. Ultimate ability coming in for the smash. And you're going to survive. Watt Tambor helps with the survival on this team. And now because we made Jedi Knight Revan ready, you should be able to put on another mark. And Ray already got her damage immunity. So we should be in a pretty good spot here. All right, let's see. Now we're going to do an armor shred on Ray. She should be almost done here. Almost done. Let's go ahead, give this over to Skywalker. Hide him so Ray can't uh, get rid of him. A little bit of Terminator. Can we try to get rid of Ray? 
before she does anything funny. Uh, I don't think we're going to get there in time. All right, someone's going to die off. It's going to be Revan. That's fine. He did his job. I'm not going to say every single time you're going to get perfect banners, but you're going to be able to at least defeat Ray. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely the best counter I've come across so far for Ray. This is where it's going to come down to. This is honestly, this is my worst battle I've done yet. I'm going to make sure we kind of run through it so you can see how it goes until the end. But I have about, I'm going to be uh, honest, I'll say probably two out of five times I've been able to get basically a full 60 banner win. Perhaps maybe I'm making a couple of misplays because I'm talking to you guys explaining how the counter breaks down. But we should be able to carry this battle all the way home, give the Skywalker, hide him under stealth for right now. I'm going to probably lose Watt Tambor. Let's just go ahead and get an armor shred over on Finn. There we go. Get him the damage immunity. There we go. Let's cleanse off Watt Tambor. And we should be basically done. Give this over to Finn. And boom. And come on. One more hit. And there we go. We should be able to get this over to the Shock T. And that's basically the win. I'm not going to knock this guy back because I want to do a couple more battles. But there you go. That was, I'll be honest. I've done this uh, test about 10 times. This was the absolute worst I've done couple of times as i said what was it like three out of five times or something like that three out of ten times i've been getting a full 60 banners the rest of the time i've been able to get myself at least everyone surviving with a couple of scratches to their protection so i already kind of broke down the strategy let's take a closer examination on how this team works i've tried so many jedi variants this is the best one that i've tried i've tried thrawn in here try to get a fracture didn't seem to help that much i tried bass lashan didn't really seem to help all that much. It really comes down to this. Jedi Knight Revan giving us the extra speed, giving us the savior. So that way, when they try to kill off Skywalker first, he can still stay in the battle. And then we have the mark, so we can focus down on Ray, the anti-bonus protection. Shakti really for the assist on Skywalker, hiding him under stealth. And maybe most importantly, the dispel of the critical damage immunity on the basic Skywalker. Cooldown increases. Dazes, he's going to hit even harder under Jedi Knight Revan. Important to show, I have my Skywalker modded for protection, and the meta is shifting that way. Before, when Skywalker first came out, it was all about pure offense. The meta has been shifting for a while for Anakin, and you want to just mod him for survivability. So we have mostly survivability mods, protection mods, that is. So keep that in mind. We're using Skywalker. And the Chosen One, incredibly important because he's able to reduce max health by 20%, and that's going to really help the, just make Rey not as viable and survivable, survivable towards the end. And then Grandmaster's training, we talked about that. We also have ways to heal up the team to get ready for Ray's altered ability with the foresight, with also the health equalization. And also we have turn meter protection, health regeneration, but really the master's training is the absolute most important part about Hermit Yoda. And then Watt Tambor, spreading tech, making sure Skywalker gets that blast tech weapon mod. So he gets a lot of turn meters. So he can take as many turns as possible and then the survivability tech. You want to make sure you give the Jedi Revan as well as Shock T. So that's kind of how it rolls. I'll show you the mods a little bit more closely towards the end. Let's do another battle. Let's see if we can maybe try to make this a little bit cleaner than that first demonstration right there. There is going to be a couple of drawbacks to this lineup, as I'll point out, towards the end here. But right now, Ray's a tough cookie to beat. You don't want to screw around with Ray. You just want to get it done with, and you're going to have to put your best team together. Because as you guys have seen, it's very difficult. It is incredibly difficult to try to clean up a race. So just get the job done once and call it a day. So let's just go ahead. We're going to do this right now. Let's go get Skywalker for the assist right here. Probably reduce some max health in a moment. All right. Let's even get Skywalker to get rid of L3. There we go. You should. That's a Relic 7 L3 right there. Not all of you guys are going to come across a Relic L3. So that's kind of important to know. You probably could take a L3 even faster. But you're seeing best case scenario team right here there is no uh there is no we're not we're giving you the full picture here this is as good as the raid team's gonna get nowadays in terms of relics and speed and mods swapping terminator skywalker always make sure jedi revan's almost ready for another um another mark so here we go let's go ahead and try to get an armor shred over on ray all right we're not gonna do much damage there she's got the damage immunity up let's try to get rid of Watt tambor he's gonna survive a little bit longer ultimate ability time buckle down ladies and gentlemen Whew, it's going to get a little dicey here. Let's see if we can maybe, um, what do I want to do here? Let's just go ahead, hide Anakin under stealth, get up some critical chance, and let's get the he team ready. Heal up Revan if possible. We got the four side going. Give this over to Shock T, the one and only. I would like to kill off Watt Tambor before he gives off any tech, and good. He's gone for it. Here comes the ultimate. You're able to survive the ultimate, which is huge. Get another mark on this fool. I tried Bass Lashon, Jedi Bass Lashon, for the ability block. And it's cool and all, but man, it's just, it's tough with Bass Lashon. That, this spell on Shakti is so critical. There we go. Almost done. Can we try to get rid of her? I think this is it. This might be it right here. 
Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Uh, she's going to probably get up one more punch here, unfortunately. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, we can't probably do much right here. Let's get some protection up going. I was hoping to get rid of her right about now. All right. So, unfortunately, again, we bear, we just lost Skywalker. But as you're seeing, if I just got that little bit of extra taken care of with Ray, you would have gotten about 60 banners right there, 58. But this, again, any win against Ray is a win in my book. You have to just get past Ray. No matter how dirty, no matter how pretty it might be. We'll run this battle one more time so you can kind of see how I'm going by with all the steps. But guys, this is so important. Jedi are going to be incredibly important moving forward. Yes, it's going to pull away from Jedi Knight Revan being used against Grievous. Kind of unfortunate. Jedi Knight Revan versus uh, Darth Revan. A little bit unfortunate. I think the thing that's going to bite the most is that you're taking away Skywalker from the 501st. And that might be the biggest drawback to this lineup. But if the 501st can't beat Ray, this is probably going to be the realization that you need to make sure you have a counter for Ray. And yeah, it's going to break your 501st up. You don't even have Shock T left over uh, to use for the 501st. So you're going to basically have to use Captain Rex lead in Grand Arena. But if you want to get past Ray, this might be the realization we have to face. This is by far the best team that I have used to counter Ray thus far. And as we see, basically my whole team is at 100% health, 100% protection. Skywalker. Could have been a part of this realization. We're going to leave it right there so we can do maybe one more battle to showcase this. Uh, but as you see, if Skywalker would have gotten that last hit on Ray, we would have had 60 banners there. But still, that is a huge win because other than Darth Revan countering non-pre-taunt tank variants as well as Palpatine, we also see that Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, is a counter to Ray. But the problem is with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, every type of battle I've done against Ray, I've always won extremely low banners. 47, 48 banners. Not a pretty picture. One last time to get the point across because this is probably going to be the most important encounter for you guys to keep in mind. Yet again, Tech over to General Anakin Skywalker. Looking good. He's going to take a beating. That's just a fact of life, unfortunately. We're going to actually go ahead and get Shock T over here for the assist. There's no sense doing an AOE because everyone's got critical damage immunity. There we go. Now we got rid of that. Savior's triggered. Let's just go ahead and try to get rid of uh, Armor Shredder here. And there we go. Oh, my goodness. That was a good combo. We took her out a lot earlier than we needed to. That's fantastic. Let's see if maybe. Who? what do we want to do? This is a little bit different of a predicament that we're in. We're going to mark him in a second. Let's just go ahead. Let's do this. Let's uh, see if we can get rid of Watt Tambor. What is it looking like over there? Let's see. Can we get rid of him? Ah, oh, not quite. All right. I was saving the assist anyways. Give that over to Anakin. Here we go. We're going to get the mark. Start reducing her max health. Fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. We let's see what we got going on here. Start keeping the team in survivability mode. Give that over to Jedi Ravon Taylor. As you kind of notice, the AI, because of how they're programmed to go on at Skywalker, Shakti's relatively untouched. Pass over Skywalker. He's got a lot of turn meter. All right, surviving all the counterattacks. Here we go. Reducing max health two times. Reducing max health because she has bonus protection and because she's under 100% health fantastic uh i'm not gonna bother i don't want to deal with any counter attacks we're just gonna do a basic over on ray here comes the altered ability their team's already pretty much crippled uh let's go ahead and do this there's no sense in calling anyone to assist we're gonna cleanse up skywalker hide him under stealth protect him get the foresight going heal up our health give that over the big shock the one and only i'm actually considering swapping these techs between skywalker as well as jedi revan all right ray's gonna come in in a moment save the mark you can't mark ray so we're gonna wait 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 survive look at that and we're still in the green i've never seen so much green in this galaxy let's go ahead and uh heal up anakin and we're gonna call him for the assist right here bam big big heal right there shock t already heals with that special ability plus being able to call people out of turn fantastic there we go we're gonna leave with probably full banners here ladies and gentlemen watch them board, please get us the protection up as i was quickly interrupted by myself ladies and gentlemen as i was trying to say shock t that healing ability is so important because jedi revan lets you heal people who are attacking out of turn and shakti already heals on top of that ability this is what i was trying to show you there are some situations where you will be able to get a full 60 banner win it's crazy 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 let's just give this over to hermit yoda try to heal up the team a bit more let's go ahead and give this everyone's basically ready to go we're just waiting for uh the defend to take a turn so we can finish him off almost there all right there we go give it over to skywalker hide him under stealth and in a moment guys Let's see if we can get this full 60 banner win. Guys, uh, we might be getting a 59 banner win. 59, it looks like it's probably going to be a 57 banner win. Best counter for Ray right now in Galaxy of Heroes against a fantastic top of the line, Galactic Legends Ray. I know the Ray owners are going to probably hate me for bringing this to light 
a lot more, but I think this is just so important. There are so many people not going to get Galactic Legends. Ray is irritating people in Grand Arena. And we need to counter more than ever because I see people, even myself, you guys saw Grand Arena stream where I had Galactic Legends, Ray on defense. My opponent had Galactic Legends, Ray on defense. And neither of us could full clear each other. It seems like going forward, you're going to need to save your General Anakin Skywalker. You're going to need to save your Jedi Revan and make sure you mod General Anakin Skywalker for survivability so he can survive all the massive blows. There we go. Big counter right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys think. Is this worth the trade-off? Giving up your 501st, giving up your Watt Tambor, so you have a consistent way of beating an ultimate Galactic Legends, Relic, Zeta, out of their mind team? I think so. Best counter that I've come across and I've used personally. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below and all your thoughts and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I'll see all you lovely people in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Gary, roll the outro. Outro. Gary. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.